awesome find Ryan did when he was getting everything put away and out of the grass so he could mow. He came over here by the trampoline in the play yard and found something amazing. All right, Ryan, you want to show us what you found? Yeah, come on in and take a look. Down here. Oh my goodness. We have a full size chanterelle mushroom. He called me over and I was like, no way! Where there's one, there's many. Look at the two spiders in there. That's so cool. that one looks like it's a little bit at the edge of its prime. Just been here a little too long. The bugs have probably already found it. But you did. You just did exactly what I did. I found more mushrooms. Can you point to them so we can see? That one, and that one, and that one, and that one. All right, if you can't see, there are little baby ones coming up under these leaves over here. See them? Hiding. And then as we look into this juniper and the poison ivy, <laughs> we see that there are more popping up all in through here. There's a big one back under there. I see more. And all the way around the back side of this tree, there's more. So I'm gonna harvest this one using our handy dandy Damascus blade custom knife that we purchased from Josh at JJL Forge. We were lucky to meet up with Josh at the Homesteaders of America conference two years ago. Get off. Get rid of those two spiders. So this is a chanterelle mushroom. They grow common this time of year, the summer, especially down here in Georgia, but they can fa be found throughout the United States in certain areas. And you can tell one by their color, their orange color, their shape is called trumpet shaped and their gills are actually false gills and they run down the stipe. And do you notice something different about this one compared to other ones we found before? Can you tell me that this is a different type of chanterelle, possibly? A smooth chanterelle? A smooth chanterelle. They it's, come... The they, gills are a lot more um, pronounced in the regular chanterelle, but this is considered a smooth chanterelle where the gills are almost not even noticeable. And you can find some chanterelles are slightly different in their color. Some of them are more white looking. And then there's also tiny ones called cinnabar chanterelle. They're all delicious. This one's a little bit older, but it's a, a good classic example of a chanterelle. You know, it doesn't look like it's bug infested though. The stipe, if you look at where you cut, is not full of holes and it's not brown. Nope, not buggy. So it actually might be just fine for cooking up and eating. And it's, it doesn't feel too dried out, dried and edges. crunchy. So now I've seen a um, the ruffled edges. Let me smell that. Chanterelles are said to have an apricot odor, um, and there's one that tends to have a much stronger apricot odor. And it's called um, Cantarellus, Cantarellus is the Latin name, right? Um, Odorta, I believe. And it tends to have a strong apricot flavor. And oftentimes it's found with a much more ruffled edge on the cap like that. So I was thinking it might have been that. So there are different subspecies within the chanterelle species, but they are um, wonderful, delicious. They're probably my favorite of the ones that we foraged for ourselves. Hi. You having fun with your water? It looks like he's got a black eye. That's just a big mosquito bite from the other day. <laughs> As you can see, Odin's walking. <laughs> you want to see that? See this chanterelle mushroom? It's pretty, huh? It's almost like a flower. Don't break it. <laughs> yeah, we can eat that if we cook it. 
Always properly identify your mushrooms. And always cook them thoroughly if you plan on consuming them. It's good advice. I don't like it, Odin. You gonna cook it? Are you gonna be a mushroom oh, forager? You damaged it. I figured he might, but it's okay. That's okay. We cut it up before cooking it anyway. You like that mushroom? Hmm. Hot. You big boy. We are gray. Look at those Where are they? They're all here. There's a lot. There's a lot. Can you point some of them to me? There's one, 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 there's one. I can't even count them. Wow, there are a lot, Liam. Yeah. Good find. When chanterelles flush, like Rose was saying, usually when there's one, there's more. So look around your area thoroughly for those other ones. Some of them will be easy to find out on the edge of the wood line. And then others are going to be hidden in the foliage. And be aware of your surroundings. Make sure you're not stepping on baby chanterelles, the pins. I almost just stepped on that one. Yep. Make sure you're not stepping on the baby pins and also be aware of your surroundings because there's poison ivy over here. And you definitely don't want that on you and you don't want it on anything you're going to eat. Not bad for an accidental forage in your backyard. Beautiful chanterelle. Looks like most of them are the smooth chanterelle. A lot of times we found where they'll be mixed together. There'll be some smooth and some more gilled. Yeah, looks like they're very nice, Ryan. Very nice. I don't know that we'll eat these tonight because we already have a bunch of dinner plans for our 4th of July, but these will definitely be on the menu this week.